Okay, no criminal charges were ever filed against the officers involved, but Officer William Torbett's family members feel very strongly that they should be held responsible. In fact, they said even after the judge's decision today, they're not giving up. Complete shock, great dismay. Sorry, they can't believe it. Attorney Bob Shulman describes the family's reaction to a judge's decision to dismiss the civil suit filed in reaction to Officer William Torbett's death. Torbett was on duty in plain clothes at the Select Lounge nightclub in 2011 when he tried to break up a fight. Torbett shot and killed Sean Gamble during the incident, then was shot and killed by fellow responding officers who, according to a police investigation, didn't know he was one of their own. Their brother was killed. By four police officers. They shot at him 34 times. They hit him 20 times. Yet the court found that this was not excessive force. The suit named the four police officers who the plaintiffs accused of firing their weapons and two other officers who were there doing crowd control. The court's decision seemed to be based upon the fact that you can't second guess a police officer. So if the police officer uses a certain amount of force and it happens to lead to the death of the individual that was shot, um, you can't question it. What kind of impact does that have on other cases involving police excessive force? So I don't know what's going to happen with all the rest of the excessive force cases that are filed in Baltimore City, but um, if the same standard is used in those other cases, it's going to be very tough to win them. Regardless, Shulman says Torbett's family will appeal. This was a terrible, tragic situation. Even the court called it tragic before she rendered her decision today. When it's so tragic, it's more difficult to accept it. They still haven't accepted it, and they're still not sure they have all the answers. And so the civil suit also included three women who were shot and injured at the club that night. Also, Sean Gamble, who was shot and killed by Officer William Torbett. There's no indication at this point whether or not they will join the appeals process. I did speak with Tiffany Clark, William Torbett's sister, just about an hour ago. She said that she is sad, she is angry, and she thinks that the judge's decision was a huge disappointment for the entire city. Reporting live downtown, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. Okay.